it's a pretty comprehensive statement and I think there's a little that you can add to it. I think what I do is the RFU has expressed great disappointment at World Rugby's decision. What I do is that disappointment is shared by Tom, his teammates, the the management team, everybody associated with this team shares that that, that bitter disappointment at World Rugby's decision. Oh, let's be clear, Tom Curry's done nothing wrong. There's no, yeah. let's be clear on that. So we've got a victim of a situation who's not been able to have his voice heard. That by World Rugby's decision, they've denied the opportunity for the, the victim of the situation, Tom Curry, to have his voice heard. That's where the, the disappointment really comes. Well, I'm sure the, the men either side of me will be able to talk about it more, but I sense that, that firstly, I say Tom has been incredible all week, as he, as he always is. He's, he's an incredible professional um, and a, a real hard, tough rugby player. Um, but I think everyone needs support sometimes and I think what you the players have certainly ensured and um, the whole management ensured Tom has been getting plenty of support through this situation we, we were lots of motivation the, the players have got tons of motivation to playing playing for England in, in a game competing for the, the third place at the World Cup and there's there's tons of motivation the situation and let, let's be clear here, I know I know people keep talking about the situation regarding Tom Tom Curry has done nothing wrong Somebody has said something to Tom Curry. Tom's reported it. Then there's been a situation that the world will be made a decision not to allow the, the opportunity for the victim's voice to be heard. That's where the disappointment comes from. Now Tom's been brilliant. When we're in terms of this week focusing on uh, the the game that we've got to play tomorrow, tomorrow night that we're looking forward to. And the players have been fantastic, in ensuring that Tom gets all the support he needs. That we the RFU's come pretty careful with their statement today as far as we're concerned we've got a game tomorrow night and we're getting on with that now um, I think everything we've done everything Tom's done has been done in the right way um, I think and World Rugby's come to this decision which is incredibly disappointing um, I, I, I don't think so in that regard but I think what, what is important to say right now and I say so with, with in my role here is that discrimination has got no part in what we do, no part whatsoever. The RFU statement makes that clear, we stand by that as well. Well, first I'll say I think Tom's been tremendous. He's been incredibly courageous to do what he's done and the manner he's done it. He's done it, you know, as Steve said, in the right way, through proper channels, conducting himself in, in a manner that you know, he should be proud of and his family and definitely as teammates were proud of him, of what he's done because to do that isn't easy, you know, to, um, to, make, to make a statement like that isn't easy, to call out stuff like that isn't easy and as, as he's seen this week when you do something courageous like that, you put yourself out there um, and he's been absolutely fantastic in that regard um, and in terms of how we've tried to support him just just to be there for him just to uh, you know try and be there for him in any way he, he needs um, if he needs to talk about anything um, you know we're always there for him but he's a strong man he has a strong personality strong will um, and he's been as I said he's been great throughout the week uh, Tom is the innocent party in this in this respect. He's he's as Steve said, he's done nothing wrong. He's you know the victim of the situation. So for him to have this abuse is you know disgraceful. <clears throat> On a slightly lighter note as well, like his players, it's his fiftieth cap this week. Um, he's an incredible example of a of a professional player and a and a test player. So for us as as players, we're not going to let that overshadow a massive occasion for, for him, his family and for us. So there are loads, there's, you know, there's, it's, there's loads to be motivated about. Um, I guess from their point of view, you know, we beat them earlier, they'll probably want to turn that around. Um, but it's going to be a great contest. It's two, two top teams going at it, um, two good teams, two high quality teams, two teams coming off the back of a loss, um, wanting to get it right.